Hello, Tracy here, and I have a little bit of a different video today. I made a gift card holder, and I did it in process for the fun of it. And I love the way it came out, so I thought I would share it. <laughs> so I used a tag here that was like a manila tag, and I painted it white just with craft paint. And I painted both sides because I wanted both sides to be pretty at least somewhat the back is not beautiful but in the end but it's somewhat pretty I was also painting those chipboard pieces at the same time I don't I'm not using them here but so then I'm gonna come in with this pink more craft paint in this pink color. I think it's like Desert Rose it's called or something like that. I It was my um, sister-in-law's birthday and so I got her a gift card and I've always wanted to do this to make a gift card holder this way. So here I have vellum and I'm just randomly stamping. I'm actually using, that's a green stamp color and okay so then I went over it with this word stamp so it all has the two layers of the stamping on it and now I'm just using a border stamp because I want that at the top and at the bottom and then I'm gonna <clears throat> do a scalloped edge here And then what I did was I layered two different fabrics. That fabric, not this white one, I don't use that. But I use a real thin mesh. And then that pink fabric, that's the thin mesh. And then the vellum on top. And I'm going to sew all of those and that's gonna create the pocket for my gift card. And I don't show you sewing it, but when I sew it, I I just used my hands. I didn't pin or hold it in any fancy way. But I, I oh, that's right, before I sew, I am going to use some ink on this. And that's just some duct tape from Home Depot, and I'm using that as sort of a mask. It just makes it have a texture to it. And this is, um, I'm using... I used Heidi Swap ink. I think coral is what I use there. And then I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the mask on the back as well. And then so I realize, yes, I do. That's, that's right. So on this side, I just use this floral mask template. And um, again, some Heidi Swap, same coral. And that's the extent of the back. Okay, so here's where I sewed. And what I did was I stuffed the pocket before I sewed. I sewed one side and then I stuffed the pocket to give it so that when I sewed the other side, um, when I pulled out what I had stuffed the pocket with, it now it has space in it. And I, I put extra space so that you could really easily dig in and out the gift card because I didn't want it so snug that you can't get the gift card out. So here I am. I'm just playing around with a whole bunch of um, tr trinkets and things that I have in my stash. By the way, before I sewed, I also used um, the mask, that same floral mask. I don't know why I didn't show it on the front, but I used a um, blue Tattered Angels um, chalk ink that was a blue color and I can't remember the exact name of that but um, anyway so I, it's got like coral and pink to it plus the paint underneath the tag and now I'm just playing with twine I tied it around and then I'm gonna put a bow here and then I I do glue down that metal flower there. I used a 
that glossy accents at first to glue and then ultimately I think yeah I end up bringing in my glue gun as well but I'm going to add some more embellishment to that even though actually I liked it simple just like that um, but it was it was too plain for my liking but I think I could have left it and it would have been okay so there's the gift card and I'm putting that in just to make to see how does it look showing through and since I had done that blue spray the blue of the gift card actually looked pretty coming through that vellum and the fabric I the reason I use the fabric in addition to the vellum was and it's very light fabric so it didn't do a lot but it it did do a lot <laughs> If that makes sense um it just made it more of a bulky solid pocket as opposed to just a sheet of vellum that would have felt to me like it could rip and I don't know this just made it really feel like a an object I don't, as opposed to just a tag and I wanted that I wanted to, it to have you know a substantial weight to it and that it the the fabric definitely adds to the weight as well so here I'm finally pulled out some chipboard pieces. I, I played around and played around and played around and I I couldn't decide what embellishments to use here. <clears throat> but then I have sort of a light bulb moment and realize I want to add some little paper embellishments. I liked that like that but it needs something else as well I think this is where I realize oh I have these K and company embellishments from ages and ages ago I don't know what I'm doing here I guess I should have edited that out So I am thinking about doing more of these kinds of projects with these little tags or and actually I've been contemplating doing a start starting to do an art card maybe an art card you know once a week or something like that um, because I, I love to watch those videos on YouTube but there aren't a whole lot of them um, and I've really been wanting to start doing that to just play around with stuff where it's not a scrapbook page and it doesn't really matter so I'm thinking about that because I really really loved doing this I haven't done anything like this ever before and I really really loved it So I'm still, I'm playing with all the stuff in there before I, it takes me quite a while to come up with what I want. That, that, that bag of embellishments, I think that was a couple of different packages of K and Company. I got those probably two, three years ago. And I'm liking that kind of. And I like that a lot too. So much so that I almost went with that. But I do, do end up changing it up a little bit. As I'm starting to put things away is when I find what I end up really loving. This these packages had all kinds of little it was like an ephemera pack actually here and there that's the the one that I I found that I love it has a the blue in it bluish green color to it and I like it with the orange piece in the back and then that little stamp piece at the bottom right 
it says it has a little three on it which this is for my sister-in-law and um, they're married and have one child so there are three so there's the close-ups and I hope you enjoyed this thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye